Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. So before I start the video, I'm just going to be scouting a few players, trying to find a guy who's 100% fully maxed, and I actually came across this guy who is... I I found that he was the first level 64, and that probably was the guy who did it instant as soon as the update came out, but this is the first guy I found, and you can see here that he has HQ22, he has a new gumbo, which just looks so kind of ugly like to be honest look at that that looks like a five-year-old drew that no not really no uh it just looks kind of cheesy in my opinion like if you zoom out like it just looks kind of cheesy but i think they'll maybe add some graphical changes soon um but yeah you could see here that he has all of his flame is that no i think level 18 was the max for flame um anything else he had he upgraded, yes, he upgraded his rocket launchers, I believe he upgraded his rocket launchers one level. He also got that thing maxed out and his armory maxed out, which is pretty sick. Um, so yeah, that's the first guy, and I'm going to keep looking and try to find a guy who is 100% maxed, and you guys will love it. Okay guys, so I was literally spending about, I spent about two hours searching yesterday. I spent about half an hour searching today, and I cannot, for the life of me, find someone who is 100% maxed in Boom Beach already, which is probably a good thing, because with this update, it would cost 2000 more dollars to max out your base just with this new update. Um, and that's just a rough estimate. I didn't add up everything. Um, I got like 1900 so it was pretty close to 2000 which is insane. Ah, uh, which I'm kind of happy about. But if someone does have a maxed out base already, that's how about how much. Wait a minute, that's not even counting all the armory upgrades. So it's way more than 2,000. Um, but that is just insane. And it, can we get up to level 65? Maybe, maybe that would be pretty sick if there was a new level, level 65. Anyway, guys, uh, let's jump onto the gameplay. And this is like. This gameplay was recorded like yesterday as soon as the update came out, so just enjoy. We are going to be gymming up this statue storage, look at that, and we can't upgrade it again, but do we want to is the question. I don't know, and I can't gym up that either. Actually, we're going to stop it, and we are going to build up an idol here, just so I can kind of see how this works, and I want to know what the levels do. It doesn't look like the levels do anything, actually. It doesn't say anything, if that's what I mean. I bet it like allows you to store more, but it doesn't say that, which is kind of weird. That's something they need to fix, or it could just be a health thing. It just like his health, which is kind of stupid. But yes, when we build it up, we could either salvage it or we could store it. If we hit store, it automatically puts it into this. And yeah, so we could see here that it says unlocked level three, uh, two, three, four, and five. So it looks like there's a max of five. Um, so it, they just have to say on this page like unlocks one more space or something like that um, but yes yeah, so we can see it here there's a gold production and we could either deploy it or we could salvage it and if we salvage it it basically just destroys it um, and you can see it comes out of that not that which is kind of weird um, but yes yeah, something to note guys you can't you can't store a statue that you've already placed like I cannot store this statue uh, you could only store statues in here. It's like a, uh, our light said, it's a one-way trip. So I can't store statues that have already been placed. So if I build up another one here, we could build up one more mega. Um, and we could put it back in there, even though that's not what I want to do. And I, I seriously need to find, I need to find a resource reward, high resource reward statue. Because this is insane. So yeah, you could see there that we could just remove it. Um, yeah, I need to find a high resource reward statue because this is just crazy. So something I didn't note, um, I, I did note it in the update overview video, which ca what came up before the update. But yeah, these little notifications on the boats won't show up anymore. Um, and these won't show up either until they reach 10% capacity, which is kind of cool. And one thing I forgot to mention on the last video, you could now pin messages so basically everyone in the task force could see this message at the top i don't know if elders can pin it i know or officials or officers can pin messages but i do know that co-leaders and co-leaders can pin them which is cool um what else i didn't mention i didn't talk about all these different graphics yeah well, there's graphics for that there's a bunch of new graphics for everything in this base here 
Um, what else? It looks like I can't really upgrade anything but this. So we're just gonna keep upgrading that thing. When the prototype weapon lab came out, I maxed it out ASAP. I max that's all I upgraded until I got that thing up to a max, which was kind of fun. So yes, every time I lose a medal, I drop down to uh, rank one general, which is kind of weird. Um, I, I I feel like it should I don't know maybe be like Clash of Clans where it doesn't matter if you go down far. I mean, it, like you could go like 20 medals under the actual rank because if someone's on the borderline, they'll just keep getting notifications um, every time I log on. But okay. I mean, it's not a big deal. And yes, it is another level of the gumbo. I'm going to try to get that thing up ASAP. It costs about $5 million of each, which is going to be insane. It's going to cost a ton. And we are going to try to unlock this because supply chest i want to see what you give me <laughs> i want to see what you give me so yes um looking around my map i don't have too many bases left okay look at this base guys look at this base this is a new re this is a new base on my map look at it it's level 60 and all it has is a hq5 a mortar and a machine gun and i could i could barrage that i could artillery that i could destroy that so i want to know how I should beat that base. It's just so weird. Like, it, it came on a new update, so I don't know about that. Um, it's like so, it's like a very, very, very weak base. But we're not going to attack that today. I'm going to make a, a whole separate video on that base. But um, we're going to just try to get this unlocked. I'll do a couple more attacks. Wait for my chips to train because I have no diamonds, and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so here we go. We are going to unlock this supply chest. Okay, we're going to do this one. I made a video about how you could beat every single resource base on your map. So that's what we are going to use. We're just going to try that same strategy here. And do, do, do way too much smoke. I, I, I freaked out, to be honest. I used way too much smoke. This should go here. And we are on the HQ. We should be good, though. We should be able to beat it. And drop a couple med kits. And yeah, we'll be able to beat it easily. So yes, um, yeah, this is going to end the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed that uh this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like as always, and I will show you what the supply chest looks like and how it works. So as soon as you gain five medals from battles that you have attacked, look at we got some cannons level twenty two now. Uh command has sent a supply chest to it uh, support our advice advance open it and pick a reward winning victory points will earn you high rewards okay so the higher you are in victory points or medals the more that bigger rewards you'll get from these uh chests here so it's telling me to take it claim it and with this we can oh oh i see so it goes by what rank you are so i go by a general rank um this is what i'm on so i can see what's next and stuff so we're going to hit claim, and we are going to take the dough, the diamonds. Why not? So, yes. It's telling me I can get another one here. But I think I can't open it till 24 hours from now. But anyway, guys, I hope you liked it. If you did, you should drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.